What's up everybody, Dooley Ray here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the champions in the science class in this game. I've been wanting to do this for a little while, make my own list of who I think is good and who is... Well, mostly we're just going to take a look at what's good about this. And we're starting it off kind of weak, because this is the weakest class out of all of the classes uh, in this game. There's just not a lot of champions, not a lot of utility, and... Compared to other classes in the game, there's just there's way better options out there for the most part. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get this started. We'll take a look at champions that you could be excited about if you get them as far as the science class goes. We're going to start it off with number five here, and that is Mr. Yellow Jacket. Let's see if I can get an awakened version. Not a two-star, don't I have a three? Yeah, okay. So, number five, I have Yellow Jacket. This kind of shows where the science class is at as a whole. Uh, he's not anywhere near like a super good champion in the game, but he can be good. If you pull him when you're still growing your account, he can be useful to you. He's got a very good like base attack just on his normal hits. He hits harder or at least as hard as the hardest hitting champions in the game. Not, not the hardest hitting. He hits hard. That's what I'm getting at. He doesn't hit the hardest. But he does hit hard. He also has a little bit of utility uh, just in his special attacks that you'll use. Uh, you put these things called power stings on the opponent. And if they use a special attack while they have these power stings on them, then the uh, stings will like cause extra damage to them. So that's an extra way to cause some extra damage. It's kind of nice, kind of special. When he's awakened, the power stings, when they expire, they stun the opponent, so uh, that's useful at times, but uh, yeah, that's our number five in the science class. All right, so I couldn't decide on number four here between a couple of champions that I think are pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and call it the Spider-Man category, and this includes uh, Miles Morales and also the classic Spider-Man, uh, both of whom are relatively good champions. We'll start it off with Miles Morales, take a look at what he can do. Uh, first of all, he gets five evade charges at the beginning of every match that you go into, and every time an opponent uses a special attack on you, he gets two more of those charges, and they just randomly are used throughout the match. So he'll be evading champions, and uh, he can be used on defense because of that. Uh, also, he has a pretty good uh, like just base attack damage. He hits pretty hard, same as like Yellow Jacket. He he doesn't do amazing damage, but he does do good damage. So. That's good. Uh, he has this thing called Venom Blast. Uh, let's see his Awakened ability here. It puts a random uh, like debuff on the opponent based on their class. So for Science and Cosmic Champs, it'll like stun them. And uh, against Tech and Skilled Champions, uh, you, you could Power Drain the opponent. And against Mystic and Mutant Champions, you get a 70% chance to Fatigue. Which is not super helpful, I think, but maybe it is. What do I know? So there's Miles Morales. He hits hard. He has a special utility with his Venom Blast. Uh, and then we have the classic Spider-Man here, who I don't have ranked up, or I don't have him at a high level either, but I know that he's really good because uh, when I first started this game, he was one of the first champions that I got. His base attack is really good. He does good crits. He puts armor breaks on the opponent, and when he's awakened, he can be used as a defender. Uh, because he just freaking evades everything. He's really annoying to fight. He's one of my least favorite opponents to fight in this game. So, yeah, that's number four for you. Taking it to uh, number three now. I'm calling this the Captain America category. Uh, I don't have any four-star or five-star versions of Captain America, but uh, as far as the three-star goes, he's still pretty useful. Uh, he just He's a full-on defense champion as far as utility goes because you can use him he has really really good block proficiency and when he's awakened he gets uh let's see extra block yeah when they have buffs you're basically guaranteed to mostly get perfect blocks where you're taking zero damage whenever the opponent's hitting you and you're blocking uh and then as far as the original cap goes i have him on the same level as uh the world war ii cap just because he's available as a five star and you should maybe get used to using him because you're likely to get him at some point in the future. Uh, but as far as he goes, he puts stuns on the opponents where the 
World War II cap puts bleeds on the opponent. So it's not that much of a difference, but it does kind of give World War II Captain America the edge on him. Uh, makes him a little bit better. Uh, and then uh, looks like this guy, <laughs> his uh, perfect block increases based on his lost health. So the more that you get hurt, the more he's going to block damage. And yeah, he's a utility champion that you'll want to use when you need to just get hammered on a little bit and then hammer the opponent back. Puts him at number three. Uh, at number two... I have another utility champion. It was kind of it was hard to decide uh, between these top two champions who I wanted to put at the top actually, and it might be a little bit controversial. But I mean, everything I'm doing here is opinion. So if you disagree with me, it's whatever. But at number two, I have Quake. Uh, she's very she's compared to the other champions in the science class. She's uh, one of the best, definitely one of the best. Uh, and then compared to everybody else in the game, she's still pretty good. She's still pretty usable. She just has a different play style that you have to get used to playing with if you want to use her correctly. And I have a video that kind of goes into deeper detail on what makes her good. But basically, uh, she just she has a special heavy attack that puts earthquake damage on the opponent. And then you get extra aftershock damage and you stun the opponent and you go in. You do a lot of damage and you uh, can sometimes reduce accuracy ability accuracy of the opponent so she's she's good she's usable and uh, she does pretty good damage uh, nothing too crazy but she does do good damage uh, and then at number one finally I have Modok <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, I don't know anything about this guy yet I'm gonna do some more testing I don't think he's gonna be at the number one, although he might be in the top five. Who knows? He could be pretty good, and we just haven't awakened his potential yet. But the person that I really have at the uh, number one spot is, of course, where's three star? Uh, Ant Man. Yeah. The glancing ability that he has here, incredible. Your opponent can be hitting you all day, and you'll be taking minimum damage just because... No, I'm just kidding. Ant-Man. It's not number one. <sighs> it's actually Abomination. It's not Abomination. <laughs> it's Luke Cage. Did you see the video where Luke Cage freaking punches Thanos in the face? How is he not number one? How could he not be number one? He's great. Uh, he's usable. He does amazing damage. Punches Thanos right in the face. I'm just kidding. Although he does have the uh, indestructible ability, and if you take a special three from the opponent before you get hit, it doesn't do any damage. That's kind of nice. It's a bonus. But actually, number one is Hulk. Hulk Arino. He, uh, he does some insane damage. Uh, as Hulk loses more health, he gains more attack power. So as you're starting to get hurt more, you're doing more and more damage to the opponent. Uh, you gain a lot of fury. And on his special attacks... You get to stun the opponent, and sometimes with that, you can stun lock uh, whoever your enemy is. Just hit them with a rock, or clap your hands very hard, <laughs> and your opponent will be stunned. It allows you to do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage to your opponent. So Hulk is, in my opinion, the top of the science class right now. Looking forward to Sentry and Void coming later on. I'm hoping that they'll turn out to be pretty good, but... We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, just a short, quick little video. This is my top five science champion list. Uh, do you agree with it? If you don't, feel free to leave a comment down below what you think the top five science champions are in this game. I'll be happy to discuss it down there. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this, and until I see you next, hang in there. And may the RNG be with you.